Dear students, welcome to the fourth episode of the podcast brought to you by the Students' Union Studio. I am Arpad, I'll be your host for today, and my guest is Reiko, a third-year medical student here at Semmelweis. Reiko, could you please let our listeners know who you are and a little bit about what you do here at Semmelweis? So, hi everyone, I'm Reiko. I'm a third-year medical student in the English program. Um, my main activities within the university are... Of course, being a student, and other than that, I'm in the Students' Union as the translating team leader. Thank you. So most of your education took place in the United States. Why did you get the idea to apply to some advice? So I was born and raised in the USA uh, to Hungarian parents. So it was kind of always a given that we'd move back to Hungary probably one day, especially because of university. The standard of teaching and education here is quite good, so it was a given, considering cost of education, quality of learning. So that's the reason why I came to some advice. Thank you. So now that you've been studying here for three years, now that you're a bit more accustomed to everyday life here, what aspect of the university has made you the happiest that, you've en- that you ended up picking some advice and not someplace else, perhaps in America? Mm-hmm. So one of the primary things is that in the USA, there is mainly campus concept going on with universities and here in some advice it's more of a spread out system and of course it's in a big city so it's a really cool idea that you can go from one side of the river to the other and you're still in within the same university complex basically so I really like that and I also really enjoy that for example in the English program there's so many different nationalities that come together and you get to meet a lot of people who have had very interesting lives And then, of course, the Hungarians, which are also a part of my personalities and identities. So, yeah, it's a great mix of lots of people. So you're very happy about the internationals being here and all the colorful personalities and lives they bring to the university. And you mentioned you are also the leader of the translation team. Are these two connected in some way? Yes. So originally when I joined the HOOK, the Students' Union, um, It was because I had the idea that there's very little connect between the internationals and the Hungarians. And this could be bridged, of course, primarily by communication. And if there's an increased amount of information going out in both languages, then that would be perfect because there could be more connect. And this was my original idea. So then another member from the Students' Union recruited me and then I applied and everything. And then in the second year, they ended up deciding that there's such a large volume of work that needs to be produced that they created a translating team that I could lead. So that's wonderful. So now there's you're kind of at the forefront of bringing people together just by purely allowing them to access information equally, pretty We're much. We're trying, yeah. That's the ultimate goal, to have a full communication and full understanding of each other. All right. I have a final question for you. Do you have any special interests outside the field of medicine? Yes. So I had mentioned that my parents are Hungarian. My father is specifically from the Hungarian minority currently living in Romania in Transylvania. And he came to the USA as a very young man. And one of the ways that he was able to find his place is from is by Hungarian folk culture. And because he had gotten into this as a young man, he also brought this into my life as a young girl. And I've been doing Hungarian folk dancing, folk music, and I really love it. And yeah, that's another thing I might add to why I like Budapest campus, because I have full access to the culture here. All right. Thank you. Uh, And thank you for joining us. Thank you for the wonderful interview. Uh, Thank you to our listeners for tuning in. Uh, Don't forget to drop us a follow on our social media. And... We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.